Hey guys, welcome to my 13 week pregnancy update. Woohoo, I remember to do another update, go me. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna talk about the baby and I have some updates on my phone on the app that I like. I like using the Baby Center app. I've used it for all three pregnancies. Last pregnancy, I downloaded some extra apps. I had like three at once or something. But then I ended up deleting them and I always just keep the Baby Center app. I don't know why, I just like it so much. So at 13 weeks, the baby is the size of a pea pod. So it's just really long, I guess, because pea pods are like long. Um, and my phone says that this, this week the baby started to swallow amniotic fluid and pee and then drink its own pee. So yeah, that's lovely. Um, it's also starting to make meconium, which is that black tar poop. That's like the baby's first poop. I think I have yet to actually have to change a diaper with meconium poop. Usually when I have the baby and we go to the hospital, Anthony does like all the first couple of diaper changes for me just cause like I'm recovering and it's hard for me to like do that stuff so he does it for me so usually he has to deal with the meconium poop so we'll see how it goes with this baby also it says that the bones are beginning to harden so all important things with baby um so the big thing that happened this week well a couple things so we announced on social media that we were pregnant so we took this picture i'll share it here we actually took a whole bunch of pictures, but I'll just include the one. And we posted it on my social media, Facebook and Instagram, just told everybody we're expecting another baby. So we got lots of positive feedback from that, of course. Also, thir at 13 weeks, I had my second doctor's appointment. So I'll talk about that. Um, I went in and they took my weight and my blood pressure, my weight has gone down a pound because I'm just not eating that much because I'm still so nauseous. Um, they said my blood pressure was fine, which I feel like every time I go, I'm just so nervous. Like, you know, going to the doctor, like it's just nerve wracking, at least for me, even though I've done this like three times now. So I always feel like they're gonna tell me like my blood pressure is so high, but um, they said it was fine. And then I had to go pee in a cup, which was, wonderful and then they put me in um, my room and I took a video so I'll input that here and I was kind of confused why they put me in this room because it was the room for the ultrasound it was where I had been at my last appointment and I was like that's weird that they put me in the room with the ultrasound like maybe it's just there and they're not going to use it like I literally did not think I was going to get another ultrasound with Grayson, I only got one ultrasound at the beginning and then one at the anatomy scan at 20 weeks. With Porter, my second pregnancy, I got one at the beginning. Then I got one at the second appointment at the 12 weeks because I went in too early and he was like too small to really get a good measurement of. So then I got another one and then I got another one at 20 weeks and that was it. And so for this pregnancy, we did the ultrasound at the first appointment and everything was fine. And so I figured that was it. And I wouldn't see the baby until my 20 week appointment. So I was like really confused why they put me in that room, but they didn't ask me to undress or anything. So I was like, okay, whatever. So my doctor came in and she had like a intern or like a med student shadowing her. Um, and so she was just asking me how I was and I just told her I'm nauseous. <laughs> and she said, well, hopefully it'll go away like any day. And I'm like, yeah, I'm just waiting. <laughs> she asked me if I had any concerns and I don't. I said, I'm just tired and nauseous mostly. And then um, she explained to me that they're gonna, they were gonna look for baby's heartbeat with their Doppler, but they said if they have a hard time finding the Doppler, sometimes it's hard like on the tummy because the baby's still so small, then that's why they have the ultrasound right now, right there. They'll use the ultrasound so that like I don't freak out like you can't find the heartbeat. So that made sense to me. So she actually had the medical student do the Doppler and the student found the heartbeat like almost right away. It was so fast. 
and so it was such a relief because I was kind of nervous. I mean, I was still feeling nauseous and all the pregnancy symptoms, but, but this early on, like you don't feel baby kick. And so it's like, am I really pregnant? Like it, it doesn't even like feel real that I am pregnant right now. So I was just kind of still in disbelief, but they found the heartbeat right away. Um, it was 160 beats per minute. So I'll have to look back and see with my other pregnancies this early on, like compare that to them but I think it's pretty normal. And so yeah, they found the heartbeat, it just sounded great. And then my doctor was like, well, we found the heartbeat and um, so we don't have to use ultrasound, but if you want to, we can take a quick peek at the baby. And I was like, yes, of course. Like, I'm never gonna say no, I wanna see this baby. Like, I'm not gonna be able to see it again for another like eight weeks. Yeah, she's actually really nice and did an ultrasound of the baby. And so um, I got new ultrasound pictures. I'll include a picture here of the ultrasound. The baby did not look like a blob this time. It actually looked like a baby and it was moving around so, so much. It was wiggling around. It was like doing somersaults. It was so cute. She actually even got a picture of just like the baby's hand and you can see like each of the fingers. Oh my gosh, so cute. Yeah, it was really fun and she said the baby looked awesome and she had no concerns, which is so nice to hear. So yeah, it was like a little treat. I had no idea I was gonna see the baby again. So after that, um, she just told me she wants to see me in another month and that was it. So I made my next appointment for the end of October. I'm hoping after that appointment, I think after that one, then it's my, then I'll be 20 weeks in November and then um, we'll do the anatomy scan and I'm really hoping to get it scheduled to where uh, Anthony can come with me because he hasn't seen the baby yet because it's been like during work so I'm hoping maybe we could like schedule on his lunch break or something and he could go with me and I could get my mom to like watch the kids so I'm hoping we can do that I'm so excited for that last time with Porter I wasn't allowed to have anybody come with me to the anatomy scan because it was COVID and so they weren't allowing visitors or like plus ones or anybody. With Grayson, Anthony was working. He was like at Honda, so he was like in like in Honda. Like he wasn't just working from home like he is now. So my mom went with me when I, for my first pregnancy in my 20 week. But this time I'm hoping to get Anthony to come because I think that would be really fun. I feel like he hasn't, I mean, he's seen the pictures I've shown him, but he hasn't like seen the baby like on the screen. So I feel like he's like not connected at all. I mean, that's usually how guys are anyway, but I just, I'd like him to be there and see. And then that way we could also find out the gender together. Um, I'm really curious to see if it's a boy or a girl, so we'll see. So yeah, that was it. Everything was normal for my doctor's appointment, so that was great and done. So at 13 weeks, I'll just talk about my symptoms, which I've kind of already been talking about it. I'm nauseous. Um, usually it's just in the evenings. Today, for some reason, it started at like noon. So I'm, I'm nauseous right now. Um, usually every night I go to bed, it's, it's nausea. <laughs> Sometimes at night I'll get like hungry for a snack or something, but usually morning, like breakfast and lunch I can eat. And then by dinner, like I don't really want to eat. So I'm really hoping any day now that this nausea will go away. I'm still taking Unisom and B6. I think it's helping. I don't want to. I don't want to stop taking them and, and find out how it, bad it can get. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm still nauseous. I'm still super tired. I'm so tired. Um, I'm still. Um, not crazy about coffee, but I've been drinking a little more like it's not sounding so repulsive to me So coffee has been helping me. I can definitely tell like the days I sip coffee um, I'm able to stay up that night until like 11 11 30 the days that I don't drink coffee I'm like falling asleep by like 9 p.m. It's such it's so crazy like such a difference So yes, I'm very tired. I still have lots of acne all over my face I feel like it's gotten maybe a little better But then like the next day I'll have like tons more and then I'm like nope, it's still bad So yeah, I am dealing with that. I'm very forgetful like I can't remember things at all like if somebody tells me to do something like I have to write it down and otherwise I just like won't remember it I feel like this week my belly has just popped like I have to wear very baggy shirts otherwise if I wear anything that's like semi semi form-fitting like you see my bump so a couple days ago I went and got out all my pregnancy clothes so I have them all out 
I'm not ready to put them on yet. I feel like it's way too early. Um, and I remember like for my pregnancy, my previous pregnancies, like I was able to wear a lot of like my regular shirts up until the very end because a lot of them are like super stretchy. So yeah, I think I'll be able to wear a little bit of my usual clothes and then a little bit of my pregnancy clothes as well. I have been going to the bathroom a lot more, peeing a ton more. I can still make it through the night almost every night. There will be a night here or there where like I have to pee in the middle of the night and I have to wake up but most of the time I can make it through the night. So that's pretty nice. Um, when I'm out, I am out though, like at night. And I don't know if it's the unison that's making it like that, or it's just like, I'm just exhausted at the end of every day. But like, sometimes, like Anthony usually comes to bed later than me. Um, and so sometimes like, I'll, he'll wake me up to tell me something. Or like the other day, like Grayson was having, he's been sick, so he was like coughing or something and Anthony woke me up to ask me, a question and I am so groggy when that happens that like I don't even I can't remember what happened and Anthony says I make no sense I am useless in the middle of the night is basically what I'm saying I've been very like congested in my nose I know that's normal um, it, I could also be getting my kids colds both my kids have colds right now so it could be that as well but I have been noticing that. I also feel like my internal like body temperature is just like swings back and forth like crazy. Like I'll be super cold and like freezing one second and then the next second like I'm so hot and like I don't know it's very weird like sometimes I'm just freezing because I have chills and then like the next second I'll be like so hot I'm like tearing all the blankets off of me and like the room temperature hasn't changed at all it's just me. I think that's kind of it. Um, it's really just nausea and exhaustion. Those are like the two main symptoms for me right now. Everything else is just kind of like meh, whatever. But yeah, just like the nausea, I'm so sick of it. I'm just so sick of not feeling well <laughs> and not wanting to eat and feeling like I need to eat and forcing myself to eat and still feeling nauseous. Like I don't ever feel that like gratified like full feeling. I just constantly feel nauseous, which is just like so depressing and then the exhaustion, like I'm just so tired like all the time. I don't want to get up in the morning. At nap time, I just want to sleep, but I have things I need to do. And then um, at night, I like can't stay up <laughs> past nine because I'm so tired. So that's basically it. Pregnancy is so glamorous, I know. So that's gonna be it for this week. Um, I'm about to go and take my 13 week bump picture. So I'll include that here for you guys. Um, but make sure to stay tuned for my next week update. Hopefully I come on here and I tell you at 14 weeks I'm no longer nauseous. I need to go look at my previous videos. They're all here on YouTube and see when I stopped feeling nauseous for my first and second pregnancies to see how much longer I have to go. <laughs> Although every pregnancy is different. So this one, my, I have a friend and she's pregnant right now. She's due like in the beginning of November, like November 2nd and she has been nauseous her entire pregnancy. And she wasn't with her first. It's her second pregnancy and she's still nauseous up until the end. And so I'm like, I hope that's not me. I really hope that's not me. <laughs> it hasn't been me with the first two, so I'm hoping with this one it isn't. But if it's a girl and that's what I have to do to get a girl, then fine, I'll be nauseous the whole time, I won't care. But if this is another boy and I'm feeling this nauseous, I'm just gonna be so annoyed. <laughs> But anyway, okay, I'll stop rambling. I'll see you guys later. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.